Hi everyone, it's viewer question time and it's from Ashley. Ashley, you have asked, I was wondering if you might be willing to do a YouTube on sleeping in the wish fulfilled. After reading Neville, I noticed that a lot of the success stories occurred with people falling asleep at night with their wish fulfilled, such as the woman with the sick cat, the woman needing to rent her city apartment to spend the summer at her country house, and the woman sleeping in her bed as a married woman and not as a single working girl. Do you use this technique of falling asleep with your wish fulfilled? If so, I would love to hear more about it. Yes, I think it is one of Neville's best techniques. It is really a way, Ashley, of living in the end. And it is about taking it into sleep with you so that it plants seeds and incubates while you're in total surrendered and relaxed mode okay so it is a time where the last thing you take into sleep is what then continues on and echoes throughout the night and starts to grow it's like you've planted the seeds and then the sleep time is when they incubate and grow so when you do this technique, you are practicing the living in the end technique that Neville talks about. And, you know, it's often called living in the wish fulfilled, living in the end or living from it. So you are basically removing problem, which is whatever you've got that you don't want right now. And you are in this act of imagining and imagining creates reality as we know you imagine it before sleep, so you're living from it, living in the end, and therefore you're replacing the problem within you with a solution, and you're taking that into sleep with you. So then the universe can do its work, you see. It's like when you go to sleep, you basically get out of the way. So that's why it is the most desirable time, because if you start to do it during the day, it's not that it's not effective, but then you've got time to have doubts or have fears or get distracted by something or you're distracted visually, you're distracted audioly, you're distracted by being at work, being whatever you've got to do, kids, dogs, cats, whatever, around you, it waters down your manifestation. So if you do this at night, it really has a pure concentrated effect is probably the best way to say it. And that pure concentrated effect creates a line of energy between you and the thing you want. And it is focus. It's a focus-based universe. And then dropping it as you go into sleep, then it becomes time to hatch and incubate or incubate and hatch if you're doing it in the right order. So, yeah, so hope that's answered your question. I've used it many, many times for, well, pretty much everything that I've manifested in terms of the life I have today, traveling and working anywhere I am, um, making more money than I ever have, working a lot less hours, doing meaningful, enjoyable work with all of you, and also for the ability to leave the last position that I had that was quite physically demanding and imagining I was working from home and also the car that I manifested, the story is already in my top 10 manifestations. I'll put that little YouTube down below because a viewer has already asked about that. And I've used it for, for everything to, to change, create, increase and dissolve the things that I no longer want in my life, pulling my attention away from those things and creating end scenes that imply the end result that I want. Very much Alex, like um, Ashley, sorry, not Alex, Ashley, like they did in those three stories that you mentioned, it's they were here physically, but they were imagining themselves being somewhere else. So it really is about ignoring reality. And you get better at it. The more you do it and then you have a result, then what happens is you start to get confident about it. And, and the more confidence you have, then the more you 
do it knowing it's going to work. So you believe it more the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the tenth time around because you've done it again and again and again, you see. So I hope that's answered your question. I thought I would answer that because it is a good question and you, you know how much I love Neville's work and applying Neville's work to my life has done, you know, amazing things in my relationship, in my money, in my work, in my travel, in my cars that I drive. So pretty much everything has changed over time and in my health. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope that gives you a little bit to play with and to start with and to practice. Lots of love. <laughs>